Hello. Hello, everybody. Happy New Week. How are we doing? What's up? What's going on? It's a beautiful week. I trust you all had a great weekend. Who is online? If you're online, I know it's a Monday morning, but, you know, if you happen to be online, just hola. I have a message from the Lord to deliver. Yeah. I have something really, really, really important to say. It's been on my mind since Friday, but, um, you know, for one reason or the other, I haven't been able to come online to talk about it. So right now I'm here. So who is online? Anybody there? Anybody? Hello, hello. Hola, 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 hola. Alus. Hello. Hmm? Who is online? If you're online, just say hello. And if you happen to catch me here, please share this video. It's important that um, everybody hears this. It's a message from the Lord for you. Yeah, you, you watching, somebody somewhere that needs to hear this. And it's, it's a very important message. It's important. So I like to see who is online. Okay, 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 okay. So let me just drop it. Let's just go ahead. All right. Um, last week was um, the international international um, day for women. Women International Women's Day celebration. And there was a word I dropped from God. There was a message I dropped that um, regardless of your background, regardless of your current um, socioeconomic status, regardless of whatever trauma you've been through, whatever your background is, you are a celebrity in as much as you are a woman. God created you out of a need. And there's something, there's a, there's a special reason God created you. You need to hold space. You need to develop capacity and hold space where God has called you to be. Otherwise, you are a piece of the puzzle. And if you don't hold space like you should, the big picture will not be complete. It's going to be, have a ripple effect when somebody drops the ball because you, you, are, you are an important factor in God's grand plan. If you drop the balls, if you don't do what you're meant to do, somebody somewhere is going to suffer for it. And so it's going to be a ripple effect like that, like that. And so today, um, it's just going to be a follow-up. It's going to be a follow-up on what I said last week. Now, this is it. Thank you for watching this short broadcast. God bless you. Please share the video. It's, it's important that somebody somewhere hears this. Now, God is a God of time. God does all his work with time. Is a God of time and season. Everything that God does is time specific and is time bound. Yes, it's time specific and it's time bound. What do I mean by that? There's a particular time when God wants his things to be done. For example, if there's a particular purpose in the mind of God, he waits for a particular time. For example, when God wanted to send Jesus to the earth, he didn't send him in the time of um, Noah. Rather, he did another thing at that time. He didn't send him in the time of Abraham, he didn't send him in the time of Moses, he didn't send him in the time of Isaiah, because the time was not ripe for Jesus to come. But when it was time, Jesus came promptly. And when Jesus finished his assignment on earth, from 33 years, he was gone. So what am I trying to say? Every assignment, if God has called you, or if God has assigned you to do anything for him, it is time specific, and it is time bound. It is time bound bound it is time bound if you miss that timing you're not likely to be able to come back and do that thing again it is time bound there is a time the bible says that for every purpose under the earth there is a season and there is a time habakkuk 2 verse 3 to 4 says the vision is for an appointed time so when that appointed time comes if you are distracted doing something else hey yeah or if you are not sensitive enough to know when you are supposed to be doing what God wants you to do, that time will fizzle out and you might not even know. And at the end of the day, that thing will turn out to be undone or somebody else somewhere will pick up the signal and do it. So the Bible says in Psalm 102 verse 13, it says, I will arise and have mercy upon Zion for the set time, the set time to favor her is now. 
the set time to favor her is now. What has God said to you? Has God put anything in your mind to do? Is there any assignment that God wants you to do for him? Is there any seed God wants you to sow? Is there any gift God wants you to give? And he's telling you, do this. And you feel, oh, I'm going to wait for a convenient time. Your own convenient time might not be God's purposeful time. That might not be the time for God's purpose. So it is imperative. It is important. It is necessary. It is of, how do I put it? It is sensible. It just makes sense that whenever God prompts you to do something, be discerning about the time. And when you know this is time, swing into action. Don't wait till it's convenient. No, don't. Swing into action now. You know, um, in the book of Acts, I'm currently studying the book of Acts. In the book of Acts chapter 12, the Bible says that Peter was kept in prison because the devil wanted to hinder the work of God. The devil wanted to hinder the work of God. The reason why some things are not working the way it should work in your life is because the devil doesn't want you to reach out to some people. Because the devil knows if you are out there doing the work of God, the devil knows that if you are out there doing the things you're supposed to do, many people will be set free, many people will be made happy, many people will be healed. And so he deliberately creates some itches around you. Just like Herod puts Peter in prison so that he will not preach the good news, he will not preach the gospel. The Bible says, and the angel came. The angel came into the prison and there was a bright light. The bright light shone. And when the light shone, the Bible says the angel struck Peter. Just like God is sending me as an angel to strike you now. To, to prompt you. To prompt you that your, your, your sleeping is enough. You have slept enough. God called you 10 years ago. He has called another person if you don't swing into action. God spoke to you when you were 18, when you were 20. Now you are 35, now you are 43, now you are 40. And you say you are waiting on God. You are wasting time. Just like the angel struck Peter that day. I am striking you now as an angel sent from God to prompt you to quickly do what God wants you to do. And what did the angel say to Peter? The Bible says, get up quickly. Get up quickly. The Bible says, in the New Testament, I really cannot remember when I guess it's Matthew. Like it says the, 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 the king's business requires haste. The things of God, the assignment that God has given you is not something you procrastinate on. Nations are waiting. Destinies are tied to what God is asking you to do. Get up quickly. 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 Get up quickly. Otherwise, the Bible says time and chance. He said, the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. He says, time and chance happen to them all. If God is giving you an opportunity, that opportunity is time bound. That chance is giving you is time bound. So get up quickly. Quickly. That's, that's adverb. Quickly. Whatever God is asking you to do, do it quickly. So that it's not as if it's too late or God has called another person to do it. I can see another person online. Yeah, but I, I didn't know. Oh, God bless you. Thank you for joining. So, the Bible says that for every purpose, Ecclesiastics under heaven, there's a time. There's a time to be born. There's a time to die. There's a time to do everything. So, this is your time. Destinies are waiting. Nations are waiting. Lives are waiting. There's no point procrastinating. Do it now. That's which God has put in your heart to do. Do it now. Don't wait. No stopping, no waiting. Do it now. The king's business requires haste. So that's all for now. That's all I've come to say. So please don't waste time. No procrastination. And please share this video. No, because Jesus is coming soon. We are living in the end, and a lot of people are going through a lot. You never can tell. And besides, you are a solution. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 61, it says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. If God is saying, go and release a song, go and write a book, go and encourage somebody, and you are feeling, oh, it's not yet time because this, because that. You are creating reasons, giving excuses. People are suffering, and you are the cause of their suffering because you are not standing up. You are not doing what you are meant to do. The Bible says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. So that's all for now. So you need to arise, and don't wait till tomorrow. Arise now. Until you arise, you cannot shine. Hmm? Until you arise, 
you cannot shine. So this is a clarion call for all of us, for every one of us, God's daughters and God's sons and God's servants and God's friends everywhere, regardless of who you are, regardless of where you are, there is an agenda in the purpose of God for you. There is a purpose in the agenda of God for you. There is an agenda in the purpose of God for you. And now is the time. Now is the time. So you need to arise and do what God has called you to do. So catch you later. God bless you. I pray for grace. Grace to arise. And we receive it in the name of Jesus. All right. Catch you later. Catch you doing exploits for the Lord. See you. Bye. Please share this video. Share this video. Share it, share it, share it, share it, and God will bless you. All right.